guys, so today's video is kind of impromptu. I actually had another video that was supposed to go up today, but things have unfolded over the past 24, 48 hours, and I wanted to talk about it. I put up a video. When did I put up that video? Two days ago? Talking about bots on Poshmark, and I said, you shouldn't use them. Let's not get it twisted, first of all. I make my Q&A videos to help you guys. I relayed that information to help you guys. I got a lot of mixed feedback on that video. I actually had to delete a bunch of comments because some people were just like flat out rude and like name calling me. A lot of people had like mixed feelings. Some people were like, no, there's no way I'll never ever use a bot. Other people were like, Vanessa, wake up. It's 2020, everyone uses bots. The whole, oh, everyone else is doing it sentiment is just childish and just, just, it's ridiculous. It really is. Like. Everyone else is a fraud. Everyone else is committing fraud because that's essentially what it is. Poshmark does not allow you to use bots. So if you're using a bot, you're committing a lower type of fraud. You're being shady and scammy and cheating the system. That's nothing admirable. That's nothing to brag about. Um, and if that's why you're selling so many things in your closet, that's sad. That's pathetic. It has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with you and your hard work. I was on Facebook yesterday and I noticed that people in like a bunch of Poshmark groups were talking about Pretty Bone and how their closets hadn't been shared for a while, blah, blah, blah. And people are like freaking out. I guess <laughs> uh, the owner the owner of Pretty Bone um, is like very pregnant. I guess she's due soon. Um, she claims that she was in preterm labor. Actually, I guess she's due next month. So she claimed that she was in preterm labor and that's why um, sharing like stopped which <laughs> first of all you're an idiot if you don't think pretty bone uses bots like you're you just yeah, they do they use bots um, second uh, pregnancy is nine months long if you like she's a very successful business like unfortunately she's taken advantage of a lot of people um, you know if you're running a very successful business like that and you don't have a plan for a major life event that you know is happening you didn't have a plan in place mm. no what caught you off guard was that you got caught like backing up there are virtual assistants and there are um, bot companies a lot of companies claim that they're virtual assistants when in actuality they use bots there are companies out there that do hire real people to share your closet but a lot of them use bots so yeah pretty bone started having issues and she claimed that it was because she was in preterm labor she said that she was the only one or, or somebody from her team sent out an email saying that um, only Danny, the owner, had access to all the emails and passwords or all the usernames and passwords so her interns couldn't share closets. Which is hilarious because once people started canceling their orders, they got an email from these so-called interns with all their information on it, including their closet name and password. So if the intern is sending that email, they can clearly see what's in the email. So, <laughs> such bullshit, you guys. You started having issues and then other companies started having issues and they were like oh well it's it's hot out and we had a power outage we we can't share your closet because we don't have power <laughs> like there were so many bullshit excuses but then yesterday uh 18 hours ago to be exact when i'm making this video uh a company called poshmark pro tools so basically what they are is they are a software company and um i don't know if you have to have like a business to download their software or whatever or if you can just be like a regular person basically they make a bot sharing um software that a lot of these companies download to use for their own company so basically this is what they put out on instagram um, I'll have a screenshot of it too. It says, we have shut down people abusing our licenses. In some cases, clients are running multiple sessions of our software. Pretty Bone, who purchased 100 laptops, you don't have 100 employees. We feel it is our responsibility to tell the public that your account is being botted. If you're using a virtual assistant company and your shares have stopped completely, they are most likely using our software and have exploited it in some way. We have stopped hundreds of licenses from functioning this way because these companies, we won't name them due to privacy, but it will be obvious, are intentionally putting your account against Poshmark Terms of Service. We can tell you that we are in the process of completely shutting down exploited licenses. If your VA cannot share your account anymore and cannot give you a reason why that sounds legitimate, then they were most likely misusing our licenses. Happy poshing. So, I mean, come on. 
two and two together. I thought it was kind of ironic too. It was like two days, two days after I made my video warning people this happens. Is that a coincidence? Same company posted an update um, actually three hours ago and it says, I want to clear some things up. Not all virtual assistants use automation, which is exactly what I told you guys. Not all virtual assistant companies use these programs. Some of them have actual people. We are not trying to discredit those hard working people who are Poshmark compliant. We are not compliant with Poshmark. This is this company admitting that their software is not Poshmark compliant. We are an automation tool, a bot. We do not share your closet for you. You need to download and learn how to use our software. We are not affiliated with any company, including Poshmark. We have never had a Pro Tools customer banned from Poshmark <laughs> yet. Yet, I wanna add yet. If you're using a sharing company and your shares have all of a sudden stopped, they're using a bot. It's not a real person. I've seen a lot of people on Facebook pissed because they pay like 150 bucks a month for Pretty Bone when they like did some research in Google that you can download this program or programs like this for like 10 bucks a month. So a lot of people are pissed. One reseller in particular, Nicole State, um, was on Instagram and she gave a shout out to the person that she uses to share her closet. So Nicole State doesn't use a bot service. She actually uses a real person. Um, and then... Should I say it? I think I'm just gonna say it because you guys probably follow this person too. I'm just gonna say this person's name and talk about our conversation because I was really disappointed. Um, so if you guys follow El Ducho here on YouTube and on Instagram, um, she's pretty popular and I, I, I loved watching her videos. She was super smart um, and yeah, I just, I just really liked her content. Her podcast was cool too. Um, and she posted stories on Instagram like talking about this situation um, just a friendly reminder, I'm not gonna read everything exactly, but basically it said, just a friendly reminder, 99.9999999% of sharing services are bots, despite what they may say. If you're paying more than $10 for a sharing service, you're paying too much. Um, and then she tells people, you can Google Poshmark sharing script, and there are many free tools that you can use. Not compliant tools, though, let's just clear that up. And then she said, there are also websites that charge as little as $10 a month if you're less tech friendly. Uh, and then she goes on to say, using a sharing service is at your own risk. Just when you use a stock photo, it's at your own risk. Just when you misuse USPS shipping supplies, it's at your own risk. Um, that's all I have to say about it. Hopefully, if you're new and not hip to the underground knowledge of the reselling world, that was helpful. Make your own decisions for your business. And then, like, it's like flip-flopping back and forth. Like, hey, here, here's all the info if you want to get these bots and use these sharing services and, and go against Poshmark's terms of service. But... Do it at your own risk, make your own decisions. And then she turns around and says, I also think that sharing your own closet is a waste of time. Most people I know use a sharing script or low cost bot, again, no more than $10. It's only taboo because we don't talk about it and Poshmark has a thinly veiled threat to ban users who have one. No, it's taboo because it's against Poshmark's terms of service. Like, what a part about that don't you understand? I messaged her and I was like, I mean, I'll read you all conversation. I don't really care. I said, wow, really disappointed to see you promoting bots. <laughs> she goes, I don't promote people wasting their time and being glued to their phones. I see that as an unhealthy activity. Um, then she said, I'm just telling people not to overpay for services offered for hundreds of dollars when they could technically get it for free. And I said, but you're promoting something that Poshmark doesn't allow. And whether you want to believe it or not, they are cracking down on people using them. And then she goes, I told people to make their own educated decisions. If I was promoting it, I would have told them which services to use. <laughs> so you would have promoted bots. Like, I think people are free to make their own decisions. And then she's like, I visited your closet and saw that you used stock photos. I don't think we can cherry pick the rules we wish to follow and then judge others. I'm like, yeah, I do. Um, and actually, if you contact the brand and get their permission, you're allowed to do that. Um, and then she said, clearly we aren't seeing eye to eye on this bigger issue. Like, the issue is, you're not supposed to be using sharing services on Poshmark. And a, a lot, everyone, everyone actually, Vanessa, everyone, it's 2020, everyone's doing it, get with the times, Vanessa, everyone is committing fraud. <laughs> I said, for someone who doesn't like being glued to their phone, you sure are answering these messages pretty quickly. Because it was like, she was answering my messages within seconds, so I thought that was kind of funny, kind of hypocritical. Um, and then I said, I thought you had integrity, but I was wrong. Um, I said, but hey, run your business how you please, blah, blah, blah. And that was it, and she didn't reply back to me. Um, so yeah, super disappointed to see her like promoting, but like I guess in the secret underground world of reselling, 
Everyone does it. Everyone's a scammer. Everyone's a fraud. Get with it, Vanessa. These people probably cheat on their taxes too. Like they probably write everything off. The whip is being cracked. People be like, oh, it's not Poshmark doing it. Like, okay, really? 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 You don't think Poshmark has anything to do with this? Really? Again, I, I want to like emphasize that I make these videos to help you guys out. If you get offended, if like, if you're offended by me telling you not to use the bot, or, or if you're like, Vanessa, why, why do you care? It doesn't, it doesn't concern you. It doesn't affect you. Actually, it does because it messes up Poshmark's algorithm when you use a bot. So yeah, actually it does affect me. If you wanna be a fraud, a scammer, if you wanna cheat the system to try to make your business thrive, go for it, but don't say I didn't warn you and don't be mad when there are repercussions, like exactly what's happening right now. I think people are like, oh, well I'm using a bot because you shouldn't even have to share on Poshmark. It's like, <laughs> but you do have to share. Like that's one of the features on Poshmark is sharing. You have to share. If you don't like that, go to another platform. Like that's not a valid argument. Like, because you don't like the fact that Poshmark makes you share, you're going to abuse the system and, and be a fraud and use a bot. Like, no, no, no. So that's, that's all I got to say about that. Um, again, I make these videos to help you guys out and to warn you guys on, like, things that you shouldn't do because they will put your business at risk. Comment down below and let me know your thoughts on the situation. Um, but be mature about it. No name calling. Like, come on, I'm 35 years old. I'm not going to tolerate people calling me names. But yeah, comment down below and let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.